Greg, thank you so much for being on today. I really appreciate it. Oh, I love it. I'm glad. I'm, I'm honored to be on. <laughs> well, I know a lot of people know about you or especially about your bars, but for those that don't that are watching us, we have over 7,000 fit pros that subscribe. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, you know, I have a, a background in, in really in science and in, in fitness, nutrition. I started out teaching chemistry and physics, and I was in the nutrition and fitness field back and forth uh, for, for a number of years, for over 20 years, really. I was a, I was a high school and college basketball coach, but I had a passion throughout the whole time, my entire life, even, I mean, I remember in early high school years, uh, my dad was a, um, uh, an NBA basketball coach, an assistant coach. Uh, with a number of teams and he would give me the resources they were getting and I used to read through them in high school all the nutrition the things they would get and the exercise things I remember I, I kept a lot of the books there it's just funny looking back now but so my background is there and so over the years I did a lot of different things and and like yourself I have I don't know if it's quite as strong as yours but the entrepreneurial you know drive I can't create as many companies as you can but I uh, I, I did have the passion to create something and so I started, I was working, you know, too busy to eat. My company started as really a weight loss and nutrition counseling company. And through that, I found a big void in basically, I know there's a lot of bars, you know, nutrition bars, protein bars, snack bars. I mean, there's th literally thousands of different brands. But there was a huge gap in a low carb, healthy bar that had really high level ingredients and actually tasted good because I try, I've tried them all. <laughs> and so I started messing around with formulas and, and eventually um, had this bar developed. And then about a you know, year and a half ago or so, I started sampling it out. And then it would just went from there. And, and you know, I got an amazing mentor and, and Dick Lamb, who is the co-founder of Balance Bar, who was one of the original bars back in the 90s. And he's guided me along. And I've just uh, just... Basically, I've fallen in love with the, the company Too Busy and the protein bars of making it the healthiest and best tasting bar on the market. And it's just, it's just basically taken over my life. I love it in that way. But um, now, you know, I'm just uh, getting it out in every different uh, venue. We're moving in uh, 2017, early 2017, January. We'll be in the UK and Europe. Um, so the company is expanding. The bars are expanding. And it's, it's, I love it. It's, 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 uh, I was explaining to somebody recently because I was a former college uh, athlete is like it takes me back to that competitive thing like I'm I know there's a lot of bars a lot of things out there but the competitiveness of trying to create the best I mean it just takes me back to that athletic background and I, and I love it and you've obviously done it and it's something we've talked about offline is is the quality of the ingredients my wife a strength coach and you know we're expecting our first child and she yeah. won't put anything in her body that you know isn't pure and doesn't have the right. finest ingredients and we absolutely love your bars thank uh, you and so thank from you. a yeah. consumer standpoint we yeah. appreciate you putting those out there because i can only imagine how difficult that would be yeah it takes uh, you know there's a lot of uh tricky things out there that you would think are healthy or you know when it first glance it's like oh this is this would be good for you you know and and so it's a lot of research a lot of years of research and uh you know and, and basically i've committed to only using you know all natural is hard to it's a very common use term because things are really bad for you. It can be all natural, but sure. <laughs> um, all natural. So real foods, real food, you know, like, like for example, our sweetener, you know, is, is stevia because it's made from a plant. Um, but that kind of thing, you know, we have organic almond butter as the base. I mean, it's just, it's just things that are real foods and, and staying away, not only real foods, but the real foods that are actually good for you. So we, we're high in, high in protein. We have high in healthy fats and then really, no added sugar at all. There's only three grams of sugar total in the bars, and that's all naturally occurring sugar in the ingredients. So, I it's funny you say that about your 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 wife and your kid. And my motive, why my motivation, even though it's a it's like a, a it's a, a I don't want to say adult bar. A lot of kids eat them, but it's not geared. It's not marketed towards kids, but a lot of kids eat them. Um, my motivation was I want to be able to eat something and I want my kids to be able to eat something multiple times a day without me feeling guilty about it. So that's where the bar came from. <laughs> well, most great things come out of necessity, right? I that's mean, right. Look yeah. throughout history, you look at that. And especially in our field, in the health and wellness field, yep. Yep. Uh, you look at supplements that are out there, be it bars or anything else, uh, they just really aren't healthy. I think there's fitness and health and sometimes those don't coincide. 
Uh, so it's nice to see something else out there that does, that has that continuum in there. Right. I think the uh, interesting thing, just the background is like you, your unique background makes you unique. And my unique background of the, the fitness and the nutrition, along with the, the chemistry and physics of understanding things helped me really a, a ton. And it's kind of funny along the way, I didn't realize it until I was into it. And I go, wow, all the things I've, all the crazy things I've been doing in my life, it all makes sense. It all make, boils down to this, this company, this, this moment. So I'm really excited about it. It's been really fun. That's fantastic. Uh, you know, walk us through, and we'll talk about the bars a little bit, but I know there's probably a lot of people on here that are saying, okay, this is a bar. What makes a too busy to eat bar? One, what makes it different? Right. Two is walk us through the process that you went through and saying, hey, I have this need. I want something healthy that my right. can eat to actually where you are today. And I know there's been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, but we are today where you're actually launching into multiple countries. Right. Well, you know, one of the big things was, is this massive, I love, I, you know, I'm like you, I'm a, I'm an input guy, a learner. I, I love learning. So, you know, when I got into nutrition, I, I started reading and, and absorbing is everything I could. And I learned a lot and I ended up just assembling it all together and, and writing a book from it just because I was studying so much. I'm like, I, I got to put this stuff down. And that, that led to writing a book. Um, but that background. So the first step was really understanding nutrition. Now there are a lot of philosophies out there. There's a lot of different opinions about nutrition, but trying to take the, the really the things that I felt personally that affected my life. And then the research was so solid. I, that's kind of, you know, so I formed that foundation. Right. So that's step one. And then, you know, understanding, it took a lot of research and understanding how to put ingredients together. And, and I wouldn't, I, I didn't create, I mean, I, the ideas all came. I wasn't in my kitchen mixing different ingredients because I contracted a, uh, you know, a, a food chemist early on and said, Hey, I want to create this a manufacturer to help me um, put this bar together. So understand the ingredients, throwing the ideas out and then <laughs> starting to create these bars and see, well, you put this mixture together, does it even taste good? I mean, <laughs> and that, that's the crazy thing is there's, you can, I mean, we all do it. I mean, you, you create this, uh, I, people do that with smoothies all the time. They're like, okay, I'm going to take these seven ingredients. They're all really good for you. I'm going to throw them together. I'm going to blend them up. And <laughs> it's horrible. A lot of times it's God awful. You can't even get it down. And so I can't sell a bar like that. So we had some really bad ones and I've had even bad ones that I've gone to market and like, you know what? I thought they were okay, but people really don't like them. So that those come and go. So we just keep, you know, I'm really based on, you know, consumer um, fr friendly, meaning I really like to listen to, people that are buying my bars and eating the bars and what they want next and, and, and what don't they like. And, you know, you're not from just one opinion, you switch a whole line of bars, but you do keep taking that in. And so, so it was really that, um, education, you know, trial and error, and then, you know, customer feedback, you know, and, and, and really targeted customers. Like I was giving early on, I was giving bars to people that, were bar fanatics that were really high level of uh, critique. And so they would, if they didn't eat them or they had the input, I was able to go back and kind of tweak them. And that's kind of how the bar came around. And then, and this is you, your understanding too, because you've done it in so many different ways in business. Um, excuse me. It took me and it's, it's never ending. The business side of understanding how this all goes together is uh, a huge learning curve. I mean, it takes, I mean, understand how to run a business. And, you know, I'm, I'm this morning, I'm talking to France and Montreal and like, I'm trying to figure out, you know, import taxes. And I'm like, I, this is stuff I never even heard of before, you know? So sure. it's uh, that, that, and that's this, that's this phase. So now we're, we're still, I'm still learning about nutrition and I'm still educating myself, but now I'm, the business side has really become, uh, a big issue now. Um, and, and I think, you know, if I, if I rested on my own knowledge, I'd be in big trouble. So <laughs> I think we all would, right? Yeah. yeah I surround myself. You know, you, you said it before is like surrounding yourself with mentors and people that are experts that know. And that's, that's what I was, uh, whether I did it on purpose or not, you know, getting Dick Lamb involved early on, um, and just his advice and then just other people that are, you know, business advice and, you know, and, and investors and all these things, getting people that are know what they're doing in all those fields. So that's, that's where I am now. 
<laughs> so, yeah, so it's not as simple as a lot of people think, oh, I have an idea, I'll just put this to market. <laughs> wow, and you know, uh, I had a great, it's, it's not, it, I mean, it can be, it's pretty quick, I mean, you can get things to market, but um, the time you think it's gonna take, uh, I would just, uh, you know, double, triple, five, six times the time you think it's gonna take to get it done, because I'm thinking, oh yeah, this is, I'll, I'll sell a bar, then I'll get it into Whole Foods, then I'll be, you know, I'll be global in, in six months, you know. So, <laughs> world um, domination. Yeah, it's, world, it, it, it's taken a lot longer and a lot hard, a lot more work. But I honestly, like, it's it's really rewarding. And it's, and it's like a lot of people that you're, you know, you you deal with um, and you help, you know, they're, they're passionate about if it's exercise or whatever they're passionate about. And they're, if they're running a business and it's a subject that they are running a business, you have to have that eventually have that blend of the business knowledge and the expertise has to, to be really successful in the long run. You have to have that blend. Absolutely. So why is it you think, I guess it was interesting to me because when I look at your, the, I've had the bars and they're, they are, they do taste good. And I look at the ingredients and it's almost like this can't be possible. <laughs> yeah, right. why, why do you think it's, it's taken so long for someone to come up with a, a bar that tastes good that actually has organic ingredients, some organic ingredients and natural ingredients in it? Well, a lot, and now I've, I've really learned over the last years, learned the bar industry and, you know, and like any other business, uh, you know, the bottom line, profit margins, it, it, people don't want to pay to have, you know, they don't want to lose, you know, percentages or whatever, because they're putting in, uh, you know, I, I use grass fed whey protein. Well, that's a big hit to the bottom line, but you know, I, I, I feel like I need to put out the best product first and let the rest take, take care of it. Now, uh, obviously I can't charge what, um, well, like a balance bar now, you know, cause now they're like, I, now I look at them I'm like, oh, they're just candy bars, you know? So, uh, but, but back in the day, I mean, now like if I can't, put it for a dollar and I have to charge more, but I want to have the best ingredients. So I think the long way to answer your question is that it, it just, then people aren't, um, it's more of a, 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 the bottom line thing. I want to, we need to make money. So people can really make a bar for 25 cents. I mean, they can manufacture bars for a really small amount of money and sell them for $1.52 bucks and they're making a huge profit on them. Um, you know, I started out, my, this is, I don't even know if I, I don't know, I also sell state anyways. Uh, my bottom, my, I was char, I was almost paying at the beginning almost $2 a bar for me to make the bars at the beginning. Wow. So, I mean, that's, that's more than most bars cost. Yep. The, the, the consumer. So, yep. But that my mindset now that has changed because my production runs are going up. I've, I've I'm I'm growing, you know. I've I've gotten smarter. We you know ingredient sourcing, all these different ideas of getting it, uh, getting the cost down without sacrificing the bar. But you know, I I decided number one quality. That's that's the first thing. I want quality first, and then we'll figure out the rest later. So it's taking a little bit of time, but we're getting there. <laughs> so, I see so many parallels to what you're talking about with a lot of trainers or chiropractors that might be watching this now is the message is don't sell yourself basically short of, of what your, your goals are or right, you know, your integrity. Right, right, right. And it takes a little longer to get there. Um, but at the same time, the results at the end should be sweeter. Yeah. And I think you feel, you just feel better about yourself too. I mean, you know, and that's a great point of a, of a, you know, for a fitness professional, a chiropractor, a doctor, you, know, you have to, you have to turn clients over. You have to have a, you know, you're, you get seen every hour you see somebody, every half hour, every appointment, you get paid for that, but you can have an income, you can have an income focus only and just for just push people through, or you can say, I'm going to do a quality job. Now I'm going to still make money, but I'm gonna do a quality job first and, and, and then let that take over. And I, I would, I would lean, I would say uh, that over time, if you take care of quality first, in the long run, you're actually going to make more money anyways, because you're going to be more sought out. You're, you know, if you do a better job, you're, the amount you can charge is going to go up and people will seek you out. So I think quality first is, is, is definitely the way to go. Absolutely. And you've obviously proven, I mean, you've written a book. What's the, what was the title of the book? I don't have that in my notes. It's, I believe weight loss was the, my book in 2014. I released. Yeah. 
So, so not, not too long ago. Can people still yeah. pick that book up? Yeah, it's on Amazon. Okay. It's, uh, you know, it's a, the easy Kindle book. Version is only like two ninety nine. And what I guess, you know, to, to give that book a little plug and not in just a way that since it's what I've gotten feedback from, it's pretty pretty short book. It's uh, very can, it's very easy to get through, um, you know, because I would give them out to my clients, I'd give them out to people, and the feedback's like, you know, thank you for making a book that is really understandable. So it's it's written, I mean, it's written to a a uh, you know pretty low level of understanding. I didn't get deep into science, even though I love science. I mean, I taught physics and chemistry, and and I love it, but I really want to keep it general as possible. Uh, with key, key principles on, on weight loss. And so it has that low carb um, uh, lean to it, all natural foods. And basically from that book, that understanding of the book, that's, that's where the foundation of the bar came from too. You know, that's, that's where those, those principles is where the bar came, came from. Well, speaking of books, um, what's, what book would you say has been the most influential in your journey? You know, um, it's it's not a nutrition book. What really in the business world, what's changed, and it really has gone over to all aspects of my life. But I read a book a few years ago called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, and you know, it's very. I could almost sum it up in a sentence, but I don't know what it changed my life in the sense that. You know, summer, I will sum it up in a real sentence, is that it's talking about the compound effect is what you do daily, every day, um, compounds, and it, that's your results. It's not the big, huge push. Because what happened before with me is I would have these lofty goals. Uh, you know, okay, so for example, write a book. So I would, I would try to, okay, I'm going to have to schedule like three weeks in a row where I, where I, you know, close myself in a room and I write, you know, 12 hours a day. <laughs> and to be honest, those are all lead to failure. Yeah. And when I read the compound effect, I realized that um, I need to set up my systems, my day to day. Here's my checklist. I got, I have so many checklist things that I do. Like we talked, you talked before we were talking offline that about, you know, your kind of grid system, right? Over all the things you do. Why well, I, I do a similar thing in my habits, my tasks. There's things I know I have to do every single day. If I do them, they're going to add up. And then in the end, they're going to, you know, uh, I'll have success in whatever I'm trying to do. So business wise, you know, there's, there's certain things I do every single day that I know if I do them for a month, two months, three months, the end result is going to be tremendous growth. And so I just, I do them whether I want to or not every single day. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, that's great. I mean, you think about that for trainers who are watching this or even yeah. chiropractors, they, they periodize or they schedule yeah. their clients' workout programs or their own workout programs, but they don't take that necessarily to other areas of their lives, especially business or family. Um, and they kind of just hope it goes well rather than doing those little hitting singles rather than trying to swing for the fences every time. Yeah. So that analogy, that's a great analogy because like if you have a unfit person and you bring them in and you absolutely just crush them on day one, <laughs> uh, probably not going to come back. And, and, you know, and if you have somebody in, in, in a chiropractic sense that are really tweaked physically and you're, you try to fix it all in one day, well, we, everybody listening knows that's not the way to do it. So yeah, they, you know, take incremental steps. We know that if you uh, trained regularly for weeks on time, even at a, at a low level of intensity, you're going to get in really good shape. And then uh, same thing with, with, with life. Yeah, it's, it's exactly true. It translates perfectly. Yeah. Well, I, I've, and to add on to that, I, one of my mentors would, would say to me one time is you can look at any person and see where they are at their station of life in that moment, and you can tell what they value, right. what their habits are. Yeah. You know, if someone's overweight, you can tell their habit isn't working out. But if they're if in, sh in great shape like you are, you know that's a priority for them and that's a habit. Or if they're successful in business like you are, you know that's a priority and they've done these little things to be successful. And I think, yeah, I, I agree 100%. And I think we, we're on the same page as it's not, um, like I'm not a marathon runner. I'm not an ultra, I'm not a triathlete. Uh, I don't do all the, I do things that, I do simple things like you sweat every day. You know, like you, you mentioned, I. I keep moving. I keep, you know, I make sure my food is, is healthy. You know, 95% of the time I'm eating something that's really good and I don't, I'm not killing myself if I go off, but it's that day to day, day to day thing. It's a consistency. Yeah. yeah. You, yeah you have to do it. Yep. Yep. 
Well, Greg, you've been so gracious with your time, and I know I'd like to have you back on because I know we could talk for hours, and you have so many nuggets to share with everybody. Uh, but I also know that people listening to this, and I know several already get your bars, but if people want to find your bars, where can they find them? Yeah, toobusyteat.com is the best way. That's that's where you can find them. That's where you can actually find me too. If you ever have questions, I would love to answer them about business, about nutrition, about anything. Uh, yeah, toobusyteat.com. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll make sure to put that in the notes as well. And you have a you have an interview show that you put on and have great professionals on there as well. Um, and you've been giving back so much and also your book on Amazon. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Too Busy to Eat show is a YouTube and a YouTube show and a podcast, and it's um, I, it's kind of the, the idea of of want to give back, educate people in the fitness and nutrition uh, to, to to just improve their health and and well be, well being. Yep, and that's Too Busy to Eat with T O O Busy yes. to Eat com. Just yeah, let everybody yes. else know it's <laughs> not going to look at the link. <laughs> That's right. And I also grabbed tbtebar.com too. So if people get, hey, uh, so it's, it's easy, e very even easier than too busy to eat.com. So tbtebar.com or too busy to eat.com. Well, fantastic. Right. Greg, yeah. thanks again for being here. We really appreciate it. It was great. It was, it was my pleasure, Doug. Thanks. All right.